Western was really hard on me, just heat wise, and uh, got pretty worked out there. I'm happy to finish and bring home a buckle and you know get back to the mountains and the cool air. Uh, but after that, I took a little bit of time to, to recover and got back into running and um, actually transitioned straight into uh, uh, a bike race and went and did the, the Colorado Trail um, on my bike. Uh, so that was last week, so I can't really feel my right hand or my feet, but uh, the, uh, the race was great. It's a self-supported um, bike packing race, so similar to, I guess, what we would uh, call fast packing. Um, in the, so it incorporates a lot of ultra running components really and uh, but you're just uh, carrying your stuff on a, on a bicycle um, so that was a little bit unconventional but an adventure I kind of wanted to have and uh, felt like I could fit in between Western and leaving for, for UTMB um, so I'm leaving for Chamonix on Saturday I'll be there for three weeks and uh, yeah, I guess this will be my sixth year going to the valley. Uh, yeah. So, uh, to run and crew and, and a variety of other things. I grew up in France, and so it's a, usually a bit of a family reunion to go back to, to Chamonix. And um, it will be this year. A lot of my family's coming out, and yeah, excited to excited to get get the legs going again on the running front um, once I get to Chamonix and. Uh, try and give it a good go at UTMB. I guess for myself, uh, what I've been up to, I've, I've been hurt since April 15th. Um, had a stress fracture in my right tibia. Uh, I mean, I've been dealing with kind of shin injury in my right shin for years off and on now, but this time it actually turned into a stress fracture, so couldn't do any weight-bearing kind of cardio activity really up until the last couple of weeks. So ever since the end of April, I've been doing a bunch of biking and climbing and uh, it's been good because it's uh, kind of opened my eyes to the benefit of that kind of cross training in the summertime because normally in the summer I'm getting ready for races I'm doing a lot of running um, but I think going forward it's exciting because I'll be able to have less pounding in my body incorporating the cycling and hopefully stay more consistently healthy um, but coming up it's just gonna be a matter of getting healthy and getting back to some kind of running fitness and maybe I'll jump in a race towards the end of the year. Um, so we'll see. There's nothing I can like, really commit to at this point. Then kind of working in some future projects, I guess, with uh, with the bikes in mind and trying to do a lot of just self-propelled activities. And so using um, bikes as a means of getting to the peaks and then um, linking between peaks. Linking yeah. between peaks and just trying to be efficient and fast and light and, and, and then using you know more of the running to get up the mountains and, and, and so just opening up a bit broader perspectives in terms of what what could be done um, for yeah, self-powered adventures. Yeah. One component of what I do in the mountains but it's not the primary motivator and it's certainly not the day-to-day -day. you know maybe you race half a dozen times a year at most and there's all that other time where you're still getting out of the mountains every single day, and if you're not motivated by that in and of itself and, and have a passion for that, then it's not going to be sustainable in any kind of way, you know, in terms of motivation and drive. Yeah, and I, I mean, I think the first time when I first got into ultra running, there was definitely the races were really exciting, not just on a from a performance standpoint at all, but more of just discovering a trail, discovering an area, being part of a community, you know, Going to an event essentially, and, and you know, really, yeah, it, it was something. There's a lot of curiosity involved, and I think over time, sometimes that that wears off a little bit, and you, you feel a bit more of a sense of duty around, you know, okay, I'm going to go and try and perform, and it you sort of distill a race just to the the basics of trying to to run a fast time or something, and I at least for me. This riding the, the Colorado Trail was really refreshing in that sense because it brought back that initial sense of curiosity and adventure and kind of why, and it's a race, but it was just like sort of why I got into it in the first place where I was like, ah, oh, this is, like you're standing, on the, you're standing on the start line and you're just, there's a lot of unknowns. And there's a lot of things that I just don't know what's gonna happen, but it's super exciting. And I think, I think it's nice to kind of it was reinvigorating to go back to racing and certainly 
on like a, a stage like UTMB where it's become such a large event and there's so much going on and there's so much you know attention towards runners and times and all this stuff that kind of going in into it with a bit more of a sense of like ah, you know it is going around Mont Blanc and that's yeah. that's really cool. And it is like, still a community of like rad people who are all kind of like united behind this, yeah. this common goal. And, yeah, and in 2009 it was the first time. It was my first hundred miler, and and it was at UTMB, and I just remember flying over there and just thinking like, all right, like seeing Mont Blanc and thinking like, wow, oh, we're gonna run around this thing, and you go through all three countries, and and I guess you can just kind of forget like how cool that is and how sort of special that is if you just you know get hung up in 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 the pure performance, pure performance components and. And there's just a lot of really cool people doing it too, and so you, you, it's exciting to, to get together and, and, and you know get after it on a yeah, on a really cool course.